Alright, what's going on, everybody? Um, you know, uh, this is another morning video. It's not my, my Eagle vs. Packers video. That's gonna be Wednesday, and, you know, so, this is what I think. Uh, make Foles the permanent starter now. Make Nick Foles the permanent starter. I don't give a damn what Michael Vick's health status is. Keep that punk on the bench and make Nick your starter. Cause look at, just look, if you just pay attention closely, Matt Barkley, and I, I've read this on Facebook, so I'm going to put it out there. I read, somebody made a funny a comment, as a joke, I'm guessing, as a joke comment, even though it's the truth. Matt Barkley, Barkley is proven to prove himself to be Mr. Mr. Terrible, Mr. Horrible. Michael Vick is proven to be, proven to us, that he's just, he can't stay healthy to save his life. Alright? He can't stay healthy to save his life. I don't even know, man. I think... Even though I don't know if Kevin Kyle got a, a quarterback job for anybody, I don't I don't think he do. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Kevin Cox is help, healthier than Michael Vick, and and Kevin Cobb gets sacked all the time no matter where he went, whether it was with the Cardinals or with Buffalo. He couldn't stay healthy either team. They had and they both had to cut his ass. So don't you dare put Michael Vick back on the center. I don't care. I don't care how healthy it is. I don't care if he I don't care if, if he, he feels he's a full fledged starter. I don't care if his hamstring is in perfect condition. I don't care if he's back to being healthy in the best shape of his life since he was a Falcon. You put Nick keep Nick behind on the center. You keep him under there. You do not remove Nick Foles for anybody. I don't care who. I don't care who. I don't care if it's Obama want to learn to play football and play quarterback for the first time and get a snap. You don't move Nick Foles from quarterback. You keep that depth chart like this. You keep it Nick Foles, Matt Barkley, Michael Vick, and G.J. Kenny if we are in a crisis when our, all our quarterbacks are down. Because God forbid we go to a punter to play quarterback for in a game. Alright. Nick Foles, he killed it. He killed it in Oakland yesterday. He killed it. He raped them bastards. He raped them and he did not stop. Not on the wild shit. Wild shit. Why can you keep that man in the record? Set the record. Why? He could have broke the record. He, he was going to break the record, but he pulled him. I should tell you, I understand. You're not the type that want to rub it in. I understand that. But you got a record on your hands. Let him break that record. And then once he broke it, let him pull him out. I don't see if I was a quarterback, I would I would have broken it by one touchdown and I would have won another touchdown to break it break it even more and another touchdown potentially and keep it broken to where it can potentially never be broken. That's like Bill Chamberlain's one hundred points in a game. It's never gonna be broken. Never. That's never gonna be broken. Kobe scored eighty one points in the game and that's the closest you're probably ever gonna see somebody get to it. There's no there's nobody ever gonna score another hundred hundred points in a basketball game again. So I would have been Nick I would if I were Nick Foles, I would would have said Hey, Coach, Coach Kelly, please keep me in for the rest of the game. I want to break this record. I want to make sure it stays broken and never know I will ever break it again. Not even Tom Brady or Peyton Manning can break it. Just, you just, just don't do that to me. I'm in a good mood. I'm, I'm killing these guys. I want to do it. But one thing that remains to be seen is Nick Foles, you got to prove consistency, consistency, my brother. You got to prove consistency. If you can play good, 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 like... Take this Pay Manning example and Tom Brady example. These guys have good games like they have good games until they face each other. When they face each other, that's when the competition gets tough. It's it's tight. It's tough. Um, cause you know that it's impossible to go undefeated in the season unless you got like that good of a team and that good of a coaching staff. Cause Andy Reid is undefeated right now. Cause one, they were the worst team. With the 2-14 record last year, and when the worst, you know, we all know this as a fact that how scheduling works. Scheduling works as in the worst team in the league get the number one pick, and then next season they get the easiest schedule just to regain themselves. And then when they had to do good, they get the toughest schedule, and they suck balls again. And then they suck again. They get the easiest schedule and win again. And when they get the toughest schedule, they just suck. That's how scheduling works. All right, now. Nick Foles, he's he's he proved himself to be worthy. He can be our potential quarterback. But Nick Foles, I love you, man. I love you as a quarterback. I love this man since he was drafted. I wanted this man to be the starter last year in preseason. And and trust me, before we had Nick Foles, when it was us, um, Michael Vick and Kevin Cobb and Mike Kafka, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, we did that again in 2010, but so Green Bay took us took us out. But, um, you know, like that. Nick Foles has officially supplanted Vic. Vic, your career in Philadelphia is over. It's over. Your career is over. Don't ever cry about a job. Don't ever cry to the press and the media saying you're you're a full you're a full fledged starter. Don't ever do that again. Don't ever say that again. Your career is over. I don't care where. I don't care how. I don't care how you feel. All right. You can get cut after the season. You can go to Jacksonville to be Bridgewater's backup. If he if they're they're actually the worst team, to get the number one pick because they actually need a quarterback bad. Because Blaine Blaine Gabbert is sucking the balls right now. Um. You know, so yeah, like it's like that. Make Nick Foles your permanent, so I want to see what this guy got. Now I love Foles as a quarterback, but thing is, with me, with me is, it's not that I don't trust Foles. He got to prove to be consistent. I believe he will try to prove to be consistent, but I, I just can't help myself, but still want. I, I just can't help myself, but still want either Marcus Mariota or Johnny Manziel or Taj Boyd, one of those guys. I'm not that big on Todd's boy, but I really want, I really, really want Mariota, and it's kind of out of our reach to get him. So at this point, I'm really into just getting Manziel because he really does fit it. He, but Mariota and Manziel both fit this offense, and here's why. And, and trust me, I'm explaining. Marcus Mariota can run. He's a dual threat quarterback. He can run. He can run, and he can pass. Now, and Johnny Manziel. He can run, he can throw. They both can run and throw and pass. Now, passing and throwing is different. Throwing is if you got, like, got the strength. And passing is if you can just make the majority of your, of your pass attempts and completions. So, I'm not saying man still got the bullet. He has a bullet arm. But, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that... I'm going to say, go on a limb and say... I believe Manziel Mariota can be the guy for us. I'm not saying Nick Foles can't. And then Matt Barkley proved to be smart, not proved to be better, keep improving it. He could probably be it for us either, too. But you know how Philadelphia fans are. When they see a quarterback dominating preseason, they're, they're ready to jump in that band and say, make him the starter. And that's how it was for Kevin Cobb when Michael Vick arrived. When it was when it was year Michael Vick had when the year was the quarterback job was supposed to be Michael Vick well not Michael Vick but it was supposed to be Cobb's job and Cobb sucked the first game got concussion and you know Vick took the job permanently and he dominated he dominated to the Bears faced him and that defense shut Vick down like that but make Foles the permanent starter make him the permanent starter and see what you got. And if at the end of the season, honestly, if I were to give me a quarterback, I like Foles. I would keep him, keep him under, under considerations. But here's what I would do. Here's my options. One, you would make a, a big trade and get Marcus Mariota. Or two, just make a, a, a minor trade, like one big trade, like trade Macklin, and probably a second round pick with a, some other pick or another, a, um, a small low key player. Like um Barkley, well he's not low key really, but like another player like Barkley, trade him somewhere and get like move up, and um and get like that pick and get Manziel, or you could just make a small trade, give up like a pick, and get and trade it to Oakland. Honestly, here's my might be my trade. I would trade a second round pick with Matt Barkley to Oakland for Terrell Pryor, cause that. Terrell Pryor can play, man. He can play, boy. He can play. He can play. That guy can run like a deer. He can play. He's faster than Vic is, and Vic's career here is over. And I know you're going to say he's old. It's true. He is old. For the play style he play, he is old. <clears throat> to the play style that play style quarterback Peyton Manning and Tom Brady play, they're not old because they last long. When you play Red Scramble and you're like 30-something years old, you're, you're just done. You, you're going to lose it in a year or so. A scamming quarterback is really good up until he's like 33 or 34 years old, like Vic is right now. And that's as good as you're going to see him at this time. He ain't going to get any, you're not getting any younger. This man running to the sideline, aiding his, his, his hamstring. You're supposed to be in the best shape of your life when you play this game. 
So this is why I say make Nick Foles your best, your, make your permanent starter. Give him the keys to the franchise, to the remainder the man of the year, until you decide what you want to do. Unless you want to make, unless you're sure you want to trade for like a Terrell Pryor, uh, try to make a hit, make a hit for like a Russell Wilson or a Kaepernick in the second round if you think you can do it. Because Todd's void is expected to drop that low. Because one boy has Manziel drop it to the second round, and that's highly unlikely. That's highly unlikely. Now, I'm not saying that Manziel is, is going to be a top five pick. He may be a top five pick, but it's unlikely he's going to drop that low to the second round. So, but hey, you know, like that. All in all, that's that. Peace out.